This is Dr. Nisha Khanna, an internist integrating functional medicine in Ayurveda. You've probably heard the expression that all disease begins in the gut, and it's true, but you may not have heard how disease actually takes root, what pathway it takes from the gut. So Ayurveda gives us the explanation for this. It explains to you why when you have a skin problem, you actually have a gut and a liver problem. Why when you have a nervous system problem, you may have a problem in the gut, the liver, and fat metabolism. Why when you have a hormonal imbalance, you probably have an aggravation in both the nervous system, the, the fat, and the gut. And so this all makes sense when you understand the pathway that disease takes. So yes, it begins in the gut, and from there, disease begins to accumulate, and then it starts to move, and it moves into circulation. So that can manifest as diseases of the blood, the lymph, and it shows up as skin disorders. From there, if you haven't corrected the imbalance, and you probably won't, because during these initial stages of disease, there aren't any overt symptoms that key you into, yes, you have a disease, it's just vague. And from there, so you're, you've moved from accumulation in the gut to spread throughout the circulatory system, from there, disease will lodge in a weak spot. And you still may not notice anything usually only notice something once it started to amalgamate with that tissue and create structural change. So an example of this would be arthritis and the colon. You probably ever never made that connection. So in Ayurveda, arthritis is actually thought to be a vata disorder. So this means an imbalance of air and space, too much of it. And this aggravation accumulation happens in the colon, and so it could show up as constipation, gas, bloating. From there, if you don't work on that, if you don't regain balance in the colon and work on, on correct elimination through diet and lifestyle and possibly supplements, then the disease, that vata increase, the air and space increase, begins to move into circulation, and that may show up as maybe ringing in the ears or feeling a little dizzy or feeling anxious. These are all qualities of increased air and space. Then you may, it, then it's gonna go into that fourth stage, the stage of weak, um, essentially lodging in a weak spot. Then you might notice that there's some cracking you know, just a little um, discomfort in a particular joint. You don't make anything of it. Then next, if you, you still don't work on this, increase in air and space. Next, you start to get arthritic changes. You get wearing away of the joint. You get, you know, signs of osteopenia on x-rays. And, and then the joint could be inflamed and painful and always hurts. Then you go to the doctor and you say, hey, I've got this joint pain. Now, it's important to realize that the joint pain didn't just happen overnight. It's, it's been accumulating in all these four stages leading up to this. And so the sad thing is, is that you'll go to the doctor and they might just give you some pain relievers, some anti-inflammatories, which then have their own slew of side effects on the gut and you never really treated the root cause, which was the constipation and the increase in air and space. So like this example, all disease follows this pathway. Um, there are six stages and I can outline them in the notes. And so it's so important to treat vague signs and symptoms at the beginning because those are our key indicators that something's actually wrong. And it's at a place, at a phase of disease where you can actually make an intervention before you notice structural damage and reverse disease. So 
what a beautiful thing that we can actually reverse disease and Ayurveda gives us that offering it gives us a framework to look at disease in a way that it didn't just happen overnight and that you can do things early on and even in later stages you can do things that will have an impact and essentially it's tracing it back to the root tracing it back to the gut but tracing it back through the whole pathway that it took so you know I started off saying that when you have a skin problem you have a gut and a liver problem and that's because it's an accumulation of toxicity and pitta in the small intestine that then if it bounces out of the gut because it overwhelmed the gut's ability to contain it that accumulated too much it goes into the lymphatics it goes into your blood into circulation and then the easiest exit is the skin same thing with the example about the nervous system so if you have a nervous system aggravation you have to trace it back through the whole pathway and don't forget about the how fat or the absence of appropriate fat contributes to nervous system aggravation so it's like this feed forward system where everything feeds the next and you can't just treat any tissue or any system in isolation it really is looking at each system in sequence from the gut outwards so of course there's a lot more detail I can go into all of this and I probably will save it for a next video an, another video um, but for now I just really wanted to highlight that when you're sick it didn't just happen to you overnight and that when you have an awareness of the stages of disease and the pathway that disease takes you can really unravel your disease and make a difference at the root cause level.